here's where you want to do. And this, the only reason I do this is uh, for disposal sake. It just makes it easier for me to like get it into it. If you need to put it in a garbage bag and dispose of this in a Herbie Kirby. Tips that I do is I'll come down here at the neck, the way the back. Okay, cut that off, drop it in the rib cage. Okay, come down here where the ribs start. And easy. Keep a hold of everything because it's going to swing out on you. And there you go. You're balanced. Now come to the other side. And finish cutting here. Twist this around. As you can see it. There's the ball. Just cut some of that connective tissue that's there. Once you get through that, it should just basically fall right off. Okay. Easy, make sure when you don't get like that, nice and gentle. Drop this in the rib cage, then it's got a nice small package to get rid of. Alright, now it's time to take care of any hair that's on these and use the rib cage as your disposal spot. Alright, I don't see a whole lot of issues with anything on here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut through from this side with the knife saw. Heading towards the bed. stop. When I'm, when I'm done with the bone, I'm going to stop. I don't want these to drop yet. you have a good firm hold on the meat. Now I'm going to go ahead, lift up, take the weight off, and just nice and easily cut through the tendon. And there you have it. The other one's hanging here. This camera's got a very steep bend in it, so right now it's still slightly above 180. And the other leg is pull off. Cut this one off. It's in pretty good shape. Put it in the bag. We'll remove the other one. All right, now we're back at this one. Same thing, take the weight off, make sure you have a good hold on it. If your gear's been hanging a while, the outside won't be wet and slimy. It makes it much easier to hang on to unless you have a meat hook. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. If you lift up on this one, you're gonna notice the leg wants to go down. So on this one, not a big deal. Just keep a good firm hold or be ready to catch it. I'm just going nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. Just like that, and there you go. Now they're your leg, ready to be brought to the table for processing. Okay, we're going to remove these legs off our gambrel, throw those in the rib cage. Now's the time. Your animal is now processed. If you want to remove the tag, you can officially remove the tag because the animal has been processed out. All right, here's my setup. Here I've got the rib cage. It's got a plastic bag in a five-gallon bucket that was under the animal catching some of the uh, drippings. Um, there was snow on the animal when I brought, brought it in, so there's some amount of water in the rib cage is in with a few scraps underneath the, the, of the, the bloodshot stuff that I removed earlier. I stuffed you know, the neck and the pelvis inside the rib cage. I stuffed the front legs inside the, the rear legs inside the rib cage. The front legs are in here. 
as well. Okay, so it's not that big of a deal now. You've got a nice easy package that'll fit in your Herbie Kirby for proper disposal in a landfill. Grab the bag up, tie it off. Take it to your Herbie Kirby. 